All right, what's happening, everybody? Um, <clears throat> we're back. This is NFG with uh, Danger Fun Zone. I'm here in the Duna server right now. Um, I'm uh, just gonna take some time and uh, do a little do a little spotlight of a few bases uh, that's in inside the guild. I have permission um, from three of our three of our management. Uh, two of them's founding members, uh, Festus the Lion and Gabby. I'll be showing their bases off today, and uh, Rakin. Uh, he's he's the same level as me. We're not we're not we're not founding members, but we're we're lower lower management. Um, uh, there's more management inside the guild, but I didn't get a chance to to speak to them before I did this video, so I didn't get permission, you know, to put their base on the video. So I don't want to uh, I don't want to uh, surprise anybody, if you will. <laughs> so I won't be showing their bases today. Uh, but as we go through the guild, and I will show you, you know, who I was who all is uh, in fact management inside the guild uh, so let's let's go ahead and get started Festus the Lion <clears throat> he's a founding member uh, you can see he's a 23.3 million million player I mean he he's one of the big boys then you have Gabby Mr. Gabby he's a he's a 14.8 million point player huge then you have Illy the Intrepid. She's a 5.4 million point player. Uh, Nikeen, 5.2 million point player. I don't have neither one of theirs permission uh, just because I haven't talked to them. Um, they would have gave me permission. I just didn't get a chance. Rakin, 2.6 million. Merlinx, she's, she's, uh, she's one of the management uh, she's in in and out of the guild uh, sometimes so right now she's not holding a management position but she's management at 2.5 million I didn't didn't ask her permission yet either um, Spencer she's not technically management but she's very very knowledgeable and you know you can look at her as management she's everybody's baby sister uh, PBKAR she's a very good player as well uh, 1.2 million there's me at 1.1 which we'll, we'll go over my base here in just a second I believe that's all the management yeah I'm pretty sure that's all the management while we're here we'll go ahead and look at my base of course my tavern is completely maxed out uh, all that that that's the one of the first things that you need to do in the game I know it, it's going to hurt you because you need the extra turn for for guild expeditions and, and when you're small with only a few seats it's really hard. Um, an easy way to get through it quick is get 10 seats as quick as possible then start working on your tablecloth. Once your tablecloth is red then go back to your seats till you get all your seats and then, then worry about your floors and, and your little your little gold tray here. Seats, tablecloth, seats. That That's how I've done it. It took maybe maybe just a couple months uh, to get through the whole thing all right <clears throat> so looking at my base uh, line actually went went over my base with me a couple weeks back we did a complete rebuild it looked absolutely nothing like this before uh, but what we've done is we've managed to put you know have one space up top for ritual flames all the way across at the end of each of my roads I put ritual flames or well he did I did however you want to look at it we did the collaboration did uh, we kind of kept them to the outside as filler spots we have uh, we have ritual flames and and uh, victory towers right here in this corner <clears throat> I have these three little blacksmiths because of my daily quest today was ridiculous uh, other than that there's no supply uh, buildings in my in my city other than unless you look at Terrence Farms as supply buildings which I, I run them as supply sometimes uh, my military right now is a couple howitzers and a, and a Jaeger and of course the rest is I think there's a champ building a couple champ buildings in here but, but it's mostly rogues I'll go across and I'll hover across my my uh, great buildings now so you can see the levels there's a habitat habitat coming in at level six. It needs to go up. Uh, 
Cathedral of Achean. I'm working on it right now. It's currently 8. I'm taking it to 10. TOR. I, w I wish it was level 1. I had a whole lot better luck on it at level 1 than I do now at level 3 for whatever reason. But uh, HS is level 5. Chateau uh, is level 3. St. Mark's at level 6. Uh, Castle is 10. Lighthouse is 6. Tower of Babel is 4. It's a baby. My little OBS is 5. My Arc is is 8. And my Traz is 8. And my Zeus is 10. So far that's all I have. I'm currently in the Industrial Age era. I'm going to be staying here until everything you see is at least level 10. As far as great buildings. If they're, if they're not level 10, I'm not moving up. That's going to take me a couple months. Whatever, I'm going to stay a couple months. Uh, because you'll find out real quick as you start, if you start rushing through the ages, that everything gets a little harder. Your hood gets a little harder. Uh, guild expeditions get a little harder. And God forbid if you have to GVG, if you have to, you know, get in there and actually throw down for your guild, that gets a little harder. You know, you'll run through, you'll you'll lose a troop here and a, a two troops there. And next thing you know, you're looking around and you don't have any troops. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm I'm not with that. So I'm I'm gonna build up my my fightings going up first, and then everything else will follow suit. Uh, and that that's just my the way I'm doing it because stuff started getting hard. Uh, because I was rushing, trying to, I was worried about the point board, you know, oh my god, I'm trying to get a million, be a millionaire, I'm trying to get to two million, no, it don't matter, you could be a ten million point player and, and lose in, in Guild Expedition, you couldn't even fight through it, you know, or, or you don't have enough supply buildings to get through it, depending on how you build, <clears throat> but anyhow, that, that's what I'm doing, I didn't mean to get off in a little rant there, but I'm just going through now, looking for, for any of the little hidden treasures that's sometimes out there and all right so that's my base that's what I have that's a pretty good set you know um, let's see show my boost 205 on the coins 125 on the supplies because of my tiny my tiny lighthouse attacks 111 and 84 defense is 279 and these buildings here you know when you when you're looking at your boost overview uh, you can click and it'll show you everything that's contributing to these numbers right here all the buildings that contributes to them uh, if we look at guild expedition if I can remember where where it's at okay we, we look here you can see there, there's a few of us that's already completed the expedition the whole expedition here's everybody's numbers so far there's PK coming in she's done there's where everybody's at so far there's me Raken. there's a few of us already already completed me there's no reason to be completed this time it just when, when I was going up through them it kept giving me extra turns and you know if you if you get extra turn you might as well use it so I mean that's not literally that's the only reason that I'm done uh, right now here's where we sit as far as the weeks concerned this is Thursday uh, so there's where we're at all right let's go through and look at a few of the big boys look, look at it look at a couple of the big bases and see what I can show you let's look at Lions base Founded member, 23.3 million point player. Awesome. I'll see if it'll let me hover over his and show you. Yeah, current level 18, current level 10, 13, Tra level 20 Alcatraz, 11, 10, 12, 17. I mean, he, he has nothing small, you know, 14. 11, 10 on the St. Mark's, Hag is 10, Arc is 61, 10, 11 on the Temple, 11 on the OBS, 
And look, look at this thing. He has uh, towers, uh, ritual flames, and uh, what are these watchtowers on the edges of the map? You can you can see the uh, you can see the similarities of the way he built. You know the way we built. He he built my base is the way he's got his as far as as that stuff keeping that on the outside to keep the keep the prime real estate for the for the good buildings. I mean, this is just an awesome base if you look at it. He has three different three different palace sets. He's got the the cherry blossom or the Zen set I call it. He's got a couple of those. The elephant set. And you come down here, here's some of the Christmas stuff that we had for the Christmas event. Look at that cracking. Level fourteen cracking. Just an amazing base when you look at it. With the two lane highways and the dump trucks or whatever they are. It's just cool. Let's go look at Gabby's. Fourteen point eight uh million point player uh he's a founded member he gave me also gave me permission to look at his base so here we go he's in the future and look at this thing terracotta army he just got it uh, he's not had it maybe maybe a week or maybe two weeks uh, that's why it's just level three notice all the terence farms and the, and the shrines of knowledges that he has he also uses wishing wells. I don't think Lion uses the wishing wells, but Gabby, uh, Gabby does. Let's go through uh, level seven, level twenty Alcatraz. You know how many troops he's getting a day? That's that's crazy. Level fourteen Kraken, seventeen Castle, level eight OBS, nine Dynamic Tower, any or No at level eleven No. There's the uh, elephant set, level 10 Deal Castle, level 13 Cape Canaveral, level 8 St. Mark's. Here's a couple of the palace sets, 11 Cathedral, 10 Haga, Royal Albert, level 7, level 11 Relic. Here's some Hoffs for the team, Hall of Fames. Uh, level 14 Chateau for those daily quests. Level 33 Arc. I mean, look at that thing. Habitat. Uh, <clears throat> you'll notice the habitats in, in, in a lot of cities uh, because habitats is the best scaling, uh, housing, great building in the game. Anno Towers are, are also good. They give, they give FP, but as far as scalability, habitat's the best one. Uh, Arctic Orange, seven, level 17, level 6 Lighthouse. I have no clue that's some kind of craziness. But look at this base. It's just awesome. There's a ship, pirate ship. That's the base of a 14.8 million player. I wish I could, I knew which button to click so you could see their, their rankings. Uh, so you could see, you know, how they, uh, how many people that they they fought and stuff like that? I don't know where it's at on computer. Uh, but that's fine. We don't we don't have to have that. All right. So now let's move on. Illy and and Nikeen, like I said before, they're both management, but I didn't get their their permission to show their bases. Uh, Raking, I got his permission. Uh, two point six million point player. He's in the progressive era. I think he said he's two weeks out of moving up. He's going to move on up to the next era. We'll go through his stuff. Level 16 art. Look at all the Terrence Farms and the SOKs. You can see a uh, you can see a pattern here if you if you look. Um, the Victory Towers and the Ritual Flames are on the outside of his base. They're not crammed in the middle. You can see a couple palace sets. If you if you paid attention to the last few bases, you'll see a pattern. You know. Uh, but anyhow, moving moving forward. Level three Arctic Orangey, uh, level six Cape. This is Eno. Level seven Eno. Uh, level eight Traz. Level six Shat. Black Tower. That's before my time. Uh, level seven OBS. Level eight Deal. Twelve Castle. Level eight Saint Marks. Level six Babel. Level eight Haga. Level six lighthouse. It's an awesome base. Two point two point six million million point player right here. 
you can see you know the the jubies and the layouts you can like I said notice that all the towers and the watchtowers and the, the ritual flames which are these things notice they're all you know mostly on the outside of the base because he's he's trying to keep he's trying to keep nothing but prime real estate in here and uh, that's all the permission as far as the different players that I have to show their bases so we'll, we'll go back to mine I just wanted to take the take the time make a small video <clears throat> and then you know show you you know have like a little spotlight to show a few of the a few of the nicer builds I won't say nicer builds in in the in the uh, in the family but you know they're nice builds we'll put it that way um, there there's more a whole lot more nice builds inside the family but I didn't get their permission so without their permission I'm not going to show them but anyhow um, for those of you that's out there trying to you know learn how to learn how to base build you know where do I put where do I put you know this where do I put that or what great buildings would be a good good to have uh, I've showed you you know with my base included I've showed you four examples of you know fairly solid bases and the great buildings that they have on them um, so alright with that being said we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video I hope this helps somebody bye